Hello my fellow crafters, welcome back to my channel. My name is David and today I'm going to be working in my Christmas journal or December journal I should say. A December to remember it's gonna be prompt six already. So let's dive in. Don't mind the hair. Haircut tomorrow. Uh, so join me live tomorrow at my YouTube channel uh, at eight o'clock uh, European Central Time at 12 Mountain Time in PM in the US. Uh, that's gonna be a fun life but okay. Back to this one now. So let's switch the cameras around so we can have a look at what we're doing. Um, it's day six already and let's have a look at what day six is. Uh, day six is winter fun outside. Okay, I've got some ideas. Um, it's gonna be on this page. So I want my Christmas tree to be on there, um, but I'm gonna slightly offset that, I think. I think, I don't know yet. And I'm going to do something with snow and um, I'm going to make a ATC card, of course. So first things first, uh, I'm going to decorate uh, my tree or at least make that tree snowy. And I'm going to do that by going around the edge with my pigment ink, making that whitish. And also around the bottom. Just to create some fun and a bit in the center like that. Just giving that some an icy look because it's winter fun outside. So, and it's freezing outside. Well, it is in the Netherlands. For me, it is. I'm always cold. So, yeah. Uh, and I'm going to take out my WOW white embossing powder. Take my Christmas tree and Cover up all that white stuff that I just put on there with that WOW embossing powder. You see? And now we've got a nice white base and this is an opaque embossing powder so that will give it a nice white shine. I'm going to keep this at hand because I might need that later. So I'm going to melt this and then we're going to continue. There's my Christmas tree. That's going to be on the page. Just quickly and easy, right? Just let it cool down a bit. Um, so on my card, I'm going to do some ink blending. So let me have a look what colors I'm going to use. I'm going to use these two colors. Um, and I'm going to use a brush for that. So let me get my ink brush out. The First one I'm going to use is Breakup Blue. And I'm just going to put that onto my ADC card. Now this is an ADC card that I made out of soft finish card. Which is beautiful stuff and I love how it takes the ink. So I'm just building up that color, softly, softly, not too harsh in one go. Go away. And a bit darker blue at the top. I don't want a huge contrast, it's not a night sky. Um, it is going to be a daylight thing, so. And I love doing this with brushes because then you can really build up the intensity. And that's something that I really like. Now, I'm going back in with the lightest color and I'm just gonna blend out that transition, like so. And that's already done. Next, I'm gonna spritz that a bit. And let that ink, uh, let that water do its ink. The Simon Hurley uh, inks are water reactive. Um, and you can sort of see it happening already. You see, so I'm just going to let that do its thing while I'm going to color my skates. Now the skates I'm going to color in with black, light gray and brown. So 
So let me see the, the gray part is of course going to be the irons of the skates. I like that. And I love these Olo markers. Um, if you are in the Netherlands, you can get them at Duoding, and I love them. They're so easy to work with, they're great quality. If you want to start with uh, alcohol markers, I'm going to be honest, I would invest in these and not in the um, Copics. That's just my humble opinion. So, And then the skates itself, I'm going to make black. Okay, the next step is going to be uh, this sign, and I'm going to pop out the letters because I don't need those. You can always give them a different color or cut them out of a different color. These are from, let me tell you, 2049 Let It Snow collection, uh, or the set, that is. Uh, and the Christmas tree is in the Oak Christmas Tree page, which is 2048. Um, fun little sets that I've also used to create my uh, booklet with. The base of the booklet is the Lost in the Woods special kit. Um, but yeah, I want these kind of things on there. Skate, ski, you see? I like that. And what I'm going to do is I want a touch of red on there as well. Is just going to come in from the edge. And make that red. Because the page next to it has touches of red as well. Ah, and I like the contrast of the blue and the red. Now with Versifying Claire in Rainforest, and I know this is not a color to blend with officially, uh, because it's a perfect stamping ink, but you can actually uh, color with it gives a, a nice effect but for me it's more about the color now than anything else and I want this sign to have a hint of green again to bring back the green and the red from the other page there we go and then what I will do with vintage photo I will go around my card as I did with all the other cards and make that a bit more vintage looking. And you see how nice and snowy effect that gave. And I will do the same with the sign. Fun and easy. I'm also doing that around the Christmas tree. Not that the Christmas tree. Um, I mean, it's white, yes, but I, I like just like the effect it gives. So that's just me. Bear with me. <laughs> um, okay, so that was that. Then I need ground espresso. And I'm going to go around that as well. Time to glue some things together because then I can see how I'm going to build up the, the rest of the page. But first things first, I'm going to glue these down. So the ski is on here. Okay, now let me think. I want this one to be on here. And normally with an ATC card, you're not allowed to go outside the lines. In this case, I will. Because, well, It's going to be something like that. And then I want at the bottom some snow. Now this is from Stamperia, Arctic. Let's put some at the bottom and see how what that looks like. I don't know. It's new stuff to me, I think. Maybe I've used it once. I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, no clue whether this is going to be transparent or... Does it say that? It's so small. 
I can't read it. So we'll figure it out. I don't want the neat layer. I think this is going to dry transparent, which is fine with me because then it looks like ice. There. I didn't want that neat and smooth. I wanted this to be bumpy. So let's close that up. I will clean up and then I'll be back. Now, out of that same um, pack of robons, I've cut out one robon and I'm going to place that on here on the page. And it's going to come, just let me see where I exactly want to place that. This is not dry yet, it's going to be in front of the tree. So it can be a bit higher up. Okay. So I'm going to place that on there. So I pulled away the backing and I'm now just pressing that on there. Or rubbing it on there, I should say, because it's a rub on, right? And there we go, nicely on there. Perfect. Now I want something there. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my Dina Wakely, is it Dina Wakely? Dilutions. <laughs> Dina Wakely, Dilutions. The other one is Dina Wakely, yeah. Yeah, okay. Just a tiny drop of the white with a brush, spritz that down a bit so it gets more fluent, fluid I should say. And I'm just gonna lightly put on some of that white paint, just to give it a bit of frosted idea, matching the rest. Cool. I like that, and I don't particularly like this, so I'm going to do something to that. I'm going to cover this up with the glittery stuff I've used before. Oops. The ice crystal stuff. And that will stick to it. Yeah, that's better. It's got a bit more shine to it. And I'm just going to press that in there as well, because this stuff is not set yet. So I will just use that to really press this in there. There we go. You see, that's better. I like that better. I don't like that. It's nice through stencil, I think, for a glittery, shiny effect, but it's really transparent. And that's not, not what I was aiming for. So you, sometimes you got to adjust your plans, right? Now I'm going to attach my tree to the page like so. So I'm going to offset that ever so slightly just for fun. And this card is going to be there in front and this will just be peeking out there. I like that. So what I'm going to do with this I'm going to glue that on, despite the fact that this is not yet completely uh, dry. But and I'm going to have that come off the card ever so slightly. Um, fun outside. That's going to go there. Yes, so let's stick that down. like so. And then of course my six needs to go on here somewhere. I think I will just put that right there. Yep, I like that. Overlapping the card. And then I want to try something. I've got my Barely Art Glitter glue. No, not Barely Art Glitter. Here I go again. My Barely Art glue here. And apparently you can also use that to emboss. So we're going to try that. So I'm just randomly placing dots all over my 80C card and a bit here at the top and
that, I will get my embossing powder out again, the white one, and just put that on there. Now, this is not handy, but yeah, there was no other way for me to do that. So I'm just going to do it like this. Oh, that went well. <laughs> um, happy I did it. And it's stuck to some other bits and bobs, which is fine because it's snow. You can't control snow. So let's see if I melt that, what happens. And I love it. Look at that. I'm not sure you can pick it up, but it really looks snowy and icing cold and freezing and like snow. Fun. Well, I hate snow. No, I don't hate snow. I hate the cold. Uh, I shouldn't say that. So this was prompt number six, winter, winter fun outside. I hope you like it. If you do, give this video a thumbs up and consider to subscribe to my channel for more fun videos like this. Uh, join me tomorrow for day number seven, which will be O oh, Christmas Tree, and uh, tomorrow evening live. Well, evening in the Netherlands, 12 o'clock mountain time, in p.m. in the Netherlands, in the U.S. Oh, can't speak anymore. That's for tomorrow. So, um, uh, tomorrow evening I'm live, and uh, that's my evening again. So, thank you for joining me and love to see you for the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.